welcome to today's video. As it says in the title, I'm going to be making a bird box. So, why I'm making one is because I went on Amazon because I wanted a bird box. I've already got a feeder and I've got a bird bath on the way, but I just wanted a little bird box. I remember my mum having one in the garden and the blue tip always used it, which is so sweet and I loved it. So, I wanted my own. Went on Amazon, had a look, could not believe the cost of them. They're like 20 quid for just a plain bird box. I think that's a bit too much. Personally, I think that's too much. And I was talking to my friend on WhatsApp, they saying, oh, I want a bird box. Can anyone recommend a good bird box? And someone said, make one page, do it on a vlog. It'd be a great vlog. She likes watching them. So I said, okay, I'll make one. And I did. <laughs> and I'm really dead chuffed with it. So I can't wait for you to see it at the end. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and like and drop a comment if you have any future tips using certain tools and certain methods that I do in this. Just remember, I'm not an expert. I followed instructions to an extent and then I just did my own thing with it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Today's video. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you wanna see me make a bird box, keep on watching. Okay, I'm in my little den which is under a gazebo and got my wood ready. So the first step is to measure out the bits of the bird box. So let's get going. Oh, I need first an angle to make sure you do the right measurements. <laughs> what that's called. And a ruler and a pencil. So let's get cracking. Okay, that's marked up. I'm gonna use a circular saw to make a nice straight line because it just needs that little bit to be taken up. So I'm gonna use a circular saw. I'm gonna put my safety equipment on this time. Yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> So I've got my guide piece, so I just need this times two. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stencil it out on a bigger piece of board, cut that, and then go from there. Okay. wood now ready to mark out to make the pieces that are going to go together and make the box. I don't know if you can see, <laughs> it's a bit of dust on there, but I've got to measure out all those so it will make this. Cool. Alright, so I'll get to it in a bit. to make the hole for the birds to go in and out of. And Jordan says I just need to twist this bit to loosen 
Ah! I thought it was going to be harder than it was. But that's messy. I've got this attachment to screw the hole in the wood. I've got a feeling it might be a bit too big. <laughs> Why? Okay, two seconds because I need to ask him how to put this in because the hole is obviously too small. Hmm. <laughs> did it. <laughs> he did it for me. I was doing the right thing, I just had to carry on loosening it apparently, but got it! So, I'm going to make this hole for the birdies to come in and out of the box, so let's get to it. <laughs> do some holes in the base and then I'm going to add a little perch underneath the hole. Fingers crossed it works. Okay, let's do it. Now this wasn't in the instructions to do, but I've just got one of these, it's hard to describe it, but you sometimes get them in like an Ikea pack when you're putting wood together, but I've just got one of those, and then I got a drill bit that was just a bit smaller than the wood, I don't know if you can tell, but you just want the drill bit just a bit smaller, so then when you hammer it into the wood, it like squeezes in, and then it just, it's nice and tight in there. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Um, and also you don't want to go all the way through, excuse the back, that's going to be on the inside of the box but you don't want it to go all the way through either so sometimes it's good to mark how much you want to go in by and then put tape around the drill bit so if I wanted to go in a centimetre I would put tape a centimetre deep on the drill bit so I know how far to go in um, but I just did it by eye today but yeah, I thought I'd go into a bit more depth about my little perch for the birdie okay? Right, let's crack on. I think the next step is to put it all together with some screws. So let's do that. The glue has dried on the birdhouse and I'm going to paint it. I went to B&M and got some garden colours <laughs> which is sea green spray and it's a lovely blue. I want it to be bright. So yeah, I'm going to spend the next few minutes painting the birdhouse.
the next day. Ooh, it rhymed. <laughs> um, I've just got to put one more coat. I think one more coat will do it before it's finished. I also think I'm going to put a hinge on the the roof because it's like a lid. Um, the rubber I put on is a bit weak and the screws are already ripping it that I fastened it with. So I think I'm going to put a hinge on it as well. So yeah, one more coat, hinge, and then it should be done. Um, it's really windy today, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it outside um, today. <laughs> um, I'll show you how windy it is. Our gazebo is just going everywhere, <laughs> like one of those long-armed, wind-powered advertising things, or oh, oh, these things. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah, it looks really good. I'll show you the finishing touch when it's done. I'm dead sure. I love the colour. It's bright and I just wanted it to be bright. So yeah, let's go do that. all the time, especially when you're in the middle of something like on the laptop or painting a bird box. Mine does. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, and by the way, like what's up? It says shell yeah and it's got turtles on it. Oh, my. Right, back to it. Oh! Anyone else is catch up off and digging claws into your leg. My legs are covered in scars from that cat jumping off my legs. Fun times, back to the bed box. Okay, I'm back. It's been a couple of hours. Jordan's been in the lounge putting some PVA prime on some doors and he knocked over my tin of paint, which was closed. And now it's all over the carpet. Mm. Fortunately, I've used all the paint I need, I think. But what if I wanted? Oh, it's just a waste of paint. Never mind. Baby, so happy with that. Also, Jordan yesterday saw that this lid wasn't closing quite properly, so he jigsawed the edge so it would fit a bit better. So good, and I really love the colour as well. Not bad. So glad I didn't go and buy one on Amazon now. And I saw the exact same one I saw on Amazon for twenty quid in B and M, and it was tiny, tiny. I think. I don't even know how much it would cost. It actually would have cost around this much to build. Dead chuffed. Um, yeah. Right, let's go try and hang it up. I'll try. <laughs> I can't believe I did it. I did it. The hardest bit was drilling through that concrete post. It took up a lot of oof, oomph. Um, and I hurt myself because I went too far. The drill went through the bird box and then I cut myself on the edge of the bird box, but it's fine. I didn't get any blood on the bird box, but it's up. It's done. Hurrah. Okay, so that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment my favourite emoji, which is this right here. And I will see you next time. Bye!